Taya? Please tell me who are you. There you are. Ready to go? I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You are not alone. Can we go now? How come it's not working? Let's ask Seeker. This all has to end, and I'd rather it was sooner than later. And by your optimism. There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. This will only take a moment. See? Ah. Well, throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. The spell isn't working. I think she's gone. These stains block the way through. Like a thick web. You're good at that. I know. Strange how I barely knew Ceridian, yet feel like I've lost someone deeply important. Seeker! Why is there a letter from Deborah Comenius here? And who's Grace? No way back to New Eden Town, and no Seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace, and where to find her. She draws well. Well, can we draw this to a close? We need to talk to Kate. How can she find anything in this mess? We're wasting time. Let's go. Won't you leave me alone? I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. So, I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious. I'll give you that. But must you push so? Deborah 
wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? What happened to Grace? I don't know that either. There had been strife with her father. Then she was gone. And the captain spoke of her no more. Deborah wrote the letter in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Could Grace have survived alone out here in the woods? Possibly. But could she remain unseen? No. All thought she'd left New Eden. Gone west, perhaps, into the wilds. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods, trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here. Southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. Goodbye to you, Huntress. I look forward to seeing things improve, now that you're in charge. Thank you, Red. Travel safe. Just our luck that when we need Seeker the most, she disappears. I still don't understand why the ritual failed. Let's just find the hut. Symbols. The hut may be near. I sense magic. Could Seeker be here? Faded with age. Not to know what it was for. Challenge. Coincidence. 
Could Grace be Seeker? Dusty. Seeker hasn't been here for a long time. Anyone home? Same circle as the one on the entrance, but I don't know the symbol. Seeker drew this. Wait, we've seen this before. In the mountains, behind a magic door. And the circle is, somehow, the key. Find wardrobe, the youngster. They're rags. And they won't help us find her, aye. Deborah knew about this place. Focus on the matter at hand, Red. I am. More demonology. A hidden magic door. Remind me to ask Lamy Haskell about this. Quite the fall from grace. That's not funny, and neither is this. Aye, fair enough. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell. And Lamy Haskell will help us with that. Ah, uh, sure. Whatever it is, out with it. Now what I say is worth listening to. Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. It's as if you can't wait to leave. It's not like that. It's complicated. Right, okay. Okay. No governor, no meeting house, and it seems, no faith. What can I do for you? We found a page ripped from a book. Yeah, do you recognize it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildewed page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, uh not done. We know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker... Is she... Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? 
We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Uh, then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend. Your only friend. Well, you see, some weeks later the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down and Grace was better off out of it. I was right. And I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please, ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh my... What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Araloo. In the void. That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defence, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park. Comparatively speaking. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we found her, we'll be glad to tell her. Come on then. Talk to me. Don't hold back. I haunt you as a ghost, and you act as though that's normal. I'm dead, and I'm not all right. I'm not all right at all. But you pretend not to see it. That makes me angry. And it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know. But it still felt that way. Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots. talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. 
You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. I rely on you. Your presence reassures me. I dread your absence. I can barely bring myself to think about it. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. No. I'll just try to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. I'm right here, you know. This looks like Lamy stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. Did you hear that? First things first, Red. <laughs> you go, you wee bastard! <laughs> Think you could take on a ghost?
This is it. Seeker is behind this wall. Let the veil of unknowing be lifted. Let us see through the eyes of Grace Pennington. Surprisingly slow, even for a banisher. You're late. Or early. At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. You always think you have more time, and suddenly you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so. But don't think you have it all figured out. You still banish us, after all. We are indeed, Grace. So, you know. I know you're Pennington's daughter. Still, I see the family resemblance. In the end, neither could he. I must have hurt. Does it matter now? The captain is no more, and till the end, so was his daughter. I defied him. I sought forbidden knowledge and stepped beyond the boundaries. At the end of that most painful of journeys, Grace was dead. And Seeker was born. Yes, it hurt. But it was worth it. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept. I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? The time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the nightmare. Yes. Balance must be restored. You must face your fate and end the curse. Ceridian said the only way back was through the void. But the pond seems broken. We need your help. Of course you do. We're listening. Remember Ceridian's words. If you were to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This Void Breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, the Void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the Void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. And with that, we'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear, especially when it's me saying it. On the contrary. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best.
She's the custodian now. May she have all the wisdom of her mentor and more. Yeah, I wish I had half the wisdom of mine. You're not as stupid as you sound. You'll be fine. the void. This is it. You always think you have more time. And suddenly, you don't. You ever wonder how things would have gone if we'd never come here? Never. Do you? Sometimes. I think about our last morning in Oporto. Of our tiny room overlooking the fish market. A horrendously loud fish market. You slept soundly in my arms as I lay listening to the clamor. I watched those curtains blow through the window for hours. Or so it felt. I think of that moment often. That instant suspended in time. Before Charles's letter found us. We were glad to hear from our friend. And buoyed by a later success. The ghost blew up the Duke's wine cellar, but we got the job done. Oh. <laughs> I had a good life. We had a good life. I'm gonna miss you so very much. There's much to do between here and goodbye. Let's go do it. Thank you for standing by my side through it all, for everything. Into the fray then. Always. What is it? Baggage I may need to finally face. Let's press on.